Arizona Wildcats are poised to defend their national championship. Lute Olsen squad is blessed with experience and depth. Champions on the hardwood always have great guard play. Mike Bibby and Miles Simon have been raising Arizona. Last year, Simon set championship. This year, repeat. But tucked away in the Wasatch Mountains, Rick Majerus' Utah Utes also have championship dreams. Andre Miller and Michael Doliak have been down this way before, rushing ever closer to the Final Four, but always falling a hair short. With a victory today, Utah or Arizona will be doing a Texas two-step at the Final Four. The winner will remember the Alamo. The loser, lights out. There's the pass to Leitner. For more than overtime, Simon says championship. 75 degrees and sunny outside the pond in Anaheim. And inside, it's getting even warmer. We're all set for the West Regional Championship game. A sellout crowd on hand, third seeded Utah, facing the number one seeded Arizona Wildcats for a trip to the Final Four. Here's a bracket. Arizona beat Maryland, and Utah hung on to beat West Virginia. Everybody and welcome to Anaheim. I'm Gus Johnson where the Arizona Wildcats are trying to become the first team since Duke in 91-92 to repeat as national champions but standing in their way a very physical Utah Utes team. Joining me now my partner John Sunbold and John when you talk about Utah you have to talk about their dynamic 6'11 senior Michael Doliak. He's got the intangibles. Well Gus you mentioned 6'11 but he doesn't always play that big and what I mean is he'll go inside like any other big guy. They'll lob to him. They'll throw it to him on the post and he'll make those shots. But what he does best of all, he runs the floor. He's got great hands. He catches. He'll come off screens and knock in jump shots the other night. 25 points, 13 of 14 from the foul line. He is the reason why they're here this afternoon. But Arizona, they've got two of the best guards in the country, Mike Bibby and Miles Stein. Well, two first-team All-Americans. Take your pick which one you want. Arizona has both of them. Mike Bibby, explosive first half. He had 18 the first half, 25 overall. He had five of six three-pointers dynamic he was passing he was stealing he did it the whole ball game long miles simon he waited till they needed it crunch time late in the ball game took over his mid-range game is excellent either one dynamic duo first team all american arizona utah their last meeting last year right here in anaheim where arizona had to come back to win it coming up the starting lineup Welcome back to the Arrowhead Pond in Anaheim, California, the West Regional Championship game. Utah seeded third, Arizona, the defending national champions. They are the number one seed. And for Arizona, they beat fourth seeded Maryland 87 to 79 on Thursday. All five Arizona starters in double figures. And the third member of our team joining us today, Harmon Kazan. Rick, excuse me, you said before the game you were contemplating something very dramatic. Are you going to do it? What is it? Well, I don't know about dramatic. I mean, I, we got to take Bibby out of the game, so we're going to try to pay some special attention to him and and uh, maybe put a box on one, a little triangle and two on him and see how that reacts. I don't know if it's dramatic. It's we, We've gotten here with uh, with good man to man. I, I skeptical how much I should deviate from that, but I also realize that we have a severe matchup problem relative to quickness here. What do you tell the team before the game? Defend and rebound. It's a determinant factor in a winning championships, and then take care of the ball. Thanks, Rick. Back to you, guys. All right, Armin. So it's Arizona and Utah for a trip to San Antonio, and the final four coming up. We'll tip this one off from Anaheim. Back to Anaheim, Utah, Arizona, trying to become the first team to advance to the Final Four. For the Utah Utes, 
Hanno Metala and Drew Hansen. They have to hit perimeter shots for Utah to win this basketball game today. And they are coached by Rick Majerus, 50 years old, in his ninth season, looking for his first trip into the Final Four. The Arizona Wildcats, Mike Bibby, Miles Simon, the great back court combination but Michael Dickerson he's a third guard along with Davison and Bramlett and Lute Olsen his 15th season at Arizona won the national championship last year and he is trying for his fifth trip to the final four today's officials Gerald Boudreau Tony Green and Tom Rucker Utah leads the series 27 to 18 but their last meeting right here in Anaheim, California, in the Wooden Classic, Arizona had to come back, and they won it 69-61. Gus, interesting ball game. Arizona, the third leading scoring team in the nation at 92 points a game. Utah defensively, they're fourth rated, only give up 56. Something has to give, but it's not easy to contain Arizona. They have only had four games where they've scored in the 70s. No games in the 60s. Utah advanced to the West Regional Championship with a 65-62 win over West Virginia. Michael Doliak, 25 points, 9 rebounds. Andre Miller, he had 14 points and 8 assists. So here we go for all the marbles out west. And a trip to San Antonio, and we're underway. Well, Rick Majerus said they'll pay, pay a special attention to Mike Bibby. We'll see how they play him. They are a man-to-man -man ball club right now. They're in a triangle in two. They are shadowing Miles Simon, and they will shadow Michael Victor. Dickerson off the dribble, pull up 16-footer, and it's rebounded by Miller. Arizona will open up in their man-to-man. -man. We'll see the matchup of Bramlett on Dolia. Metala from Helsinki, Finland. In traffic, got it up. Maybe the other way. Utah must get back defensively. They did on that possession. They have to continue to do that all ball game. Kyle Simon, good defense by Hanson, and it's ripped down by Metzala. You can see the pace early, though. Arizona wants to push, get a good look. Utah content on walking it up the floor. Getting a good look. Let's see if their spacing is good so Dolia can go to work down low. Off over dribble. Miller inside. Changes his shot and bank it in. The spacing allowed Miller to go one-on-one. -on -one. And the youth strike first blood. They go up two to nothing. 18-37 in the first half. Again, the triangle is three guys playing his own. The man-to-man -man is against Bibby and Simon. 0 for 3 already the Wildcats. Miller the other way. Doliak ceiling. Knocked out of bounds, and we stay right here. As we saw with Thursday night, Doliak, one of the best running big men in the country, down low, got to the block early. They lost it out of bounds, so they'll retain possession. Michael Doliak, senior from Portland, 6'11", academic All-American as well, 3.4 in biology. You can see Bramlett out proud Doliak because he's such a good perimeter shooter, they'll want him to put it on the floor. Miller, off the dribble. So here's Mike Bibby into the front court. How do you break a triangle in one? Triangle in two, the fact that you have to set some screens, Dickerson becomes very valuable. Now Utah will go straight man to man. When they miss a shot, they're going back to their man defense. Bramlett forced it up. And it's recovered by Simon. This is a very big and physical Utah team. The best rebounding team in college basketball. The rebound margin is nearly 11 a ball game. They only allow usually one shot on the trip down. Arizona holds the four. Bibby around the corner, forced it up, and he's fouled. And the quickness of Mike Bibby on his first step. You have to be able to contain him, but what we saw the other night, he hit five three-pointers. He's deadly, so you get close to him, he goes by you. Michael Bibby, sophomore from Phoenix, Arizona, had his wisdom to pulled on Monday was in the weight room later on that night. Simon baseline jumper blocked by Doliak into the hands of Miller. Great save by Miller, great block by Doliak. Metzola trying to post up Davidson. 
Utah's going to try to be physical when they set free. Gets into the hole. Got his own rebound. Bump. Put it up again. Bucked it up again. And finally cleared by Bramlett in a foul. Opportunities early for Utah. You have to take advantage. When you're a lower seed, when opportunities come, these kind of games you have to finish. He misses once. Now he has an opportunity to get that ball back in the basket. You have to be able to finish these. Alex Jensen, sophomore from Centerville, Utah, spoke to him before the game. He said, I got to hit a couple of shots and get my confidence going. He thought he was tentative in the game Thursday, and it showed with his outside shooting. Nice entry pass by Miles Simon. And A.J. Bramlett, not tentative at all. He banks it in. He had 11 points, five rebounds against Maryland. And we're tied at two. But a good slowdown pace right now for the youth. And you can see offensively, they have four guys on the outside. They'll let Doliak go to work on the box again. The spacing is important. Arizona's a very good weak side help defense. Mandela. Vivi the other way. In transition. Good job by Metzala containing Vivi. Simon, ball fake, pushed it up. Wide play, he draws the five. Arizona good enough at sharing the basketball. Bramlett will get himself reset in. There was a mismatch down low. Miller got switched off. Good recognition by Miles Simon to put it back inside to the big man. For Miles Simon, the most valuable player of the Final Four last year. Senior from Fullerton, California. At 18 points against Maryland in the first free throw is good. Simon, who comes up with big nights on big ball games. Does his best when needed the other night. It got to be a one-point ball game on Thursday. He took over, hit a couple runners through the lane and a couple three-pointers. There's his dad, Walt. Look it on. Now Simon, second one off the front of the rim. Jensen with the rebound. Jordy McTavish, David Jackson, inserted into the backcourt for Utah. And Rick Majerus will do this because he doesn't want his defenders to wear down against the quicker Wildcats. Jackson pops out. Sophomore for Portland, Oregon. Metzala around the screen. Great ball fake. And it's taken away. For the help by this Wildcat defensive team. Outstanding. Simon. And he throws it out of bounds. 15 45 to go in the first half of play. 3 to 2, Arizona. I'm down here at courtside where it's 9 to 8, Utah. You know, uh, Rick Majerus has one of the best basketball minds in the business, but he's not above getting some help from his friends. In this case, George Carl, the head coach of the Seattle Supersonics. We saw him together on Thursday night, and they were having dinner diagramming plays. And I'm sure some of those plays are showing up on the court right now. Well, interesting in fact, George Carl, a great North Carolina player. They did draw plays as coaches will do that. It's hard to implement things at this point in the season, but the triangle and two defensively has been really effective. Rick Johnson over the half court line, almost lost it. Five, five, seconds. five seconds if he doesn't get rid of it. Andre Miller to the basket. The runner is good. Terrific basket by Utah and the fact that Arizona had them scrambling. The first time we've seen the full court pressure by this Wildcat team. All 11 Utah points coming inside. They lead 11 to 8. Terry cross court the lob. Eggerson, good grab. Push, got it away. No whistle. It squirts out. Eggerson diving with Jackson. And finally, Rick Johnson with the ball. Wildcats appear to be a little bit rattled about the triangle and two defense. Ball knocked out of bounds by Bibby. Last time down Arizona finally put some pressure on Utah. They got a break. They caught the basketball, didn't get the five-second count, and Andre Miller delivers. So Michael Doliak back into the game with Jensen, Metzala, and Jackson, and Miller in the backcourt for Utah. Leading it 11 to 8. Amazing, they've been able to control the pace even without hitting a lot of shots early in this game. Miller for three. Finally, the Wildcats trying to run. Terry got the step on the baseline, lost it out of bounds. Third turnover for Arizona. No easy baskets, no easy looks so far for Arizona. 
though, when you're a running team and you haven't been able to run, how do you get it going? Well, you become frustrated a little bit. You can see the frustration on the faces. And when they get in the half court set, it's taken about 10 seconds to figure out the triangle and two and what they want to do with it. Miller, pull up tougher. Terry with the board. Quickly into the front court, Dickerson. Simon flashes, dumps it down, stolen away by Miller. The junior from L.A. into the front court distance to the bucket, counter, and the foul. So we are seeing a different Utah team today. Much more aggressive. It starts on the defensive end. Watch Simon leave his feet. Terrific read by Miller. And then the push. They will take something if it's there. The hit ahead. Look at the strength of the basket. The finish. Utes off to a good start even though they're not shooting a very good percentage. Alex Jensen at the line. Missed the free throw. Clock back out though. And Utah recovers. 9.54 to go. 13 to 8. Utes. Jackson. And the foul over the back on Metala. You don't mind that aggressiveness, though. They're attacking the offensive boards. They're now 5 of 15 from the field. But they are out rebounding Arizona 11 to 10. Jason Terry, Harris, Dickerson, Davison, and Simon on the court. Again, Michael Dickerson becomes so valuable against this time on two. You're basically playing three on three. Three guys playing his own defense. Three guys attacking Dickerson misses again. And Michael Dickerson, remember, he had the tough final four, two of 18. Worked on his defense, though. Miller off the glass and in! The ball is rolling the right way today for Utah on an 8 0 run. Davison. Terry spinning. Dickerson. And an air ball. 15 8. And we have a surprise here in the West. Well, you mentioned Michael Dickerson a year ago. 2 of 18 in the Final Four. He struggled shooting the ball. They need him today because they're just trying to contain Simon and Bibby. Goliath, jump stop. Let it go. And it's rebounded by Dickerson. Arizona now has to back up and regroup a little bit, Jess. Simon from downtown. They got fouled. Jackson got a hand on. Simon not happy talking to the official when he let it go. His arm was pushed straight to the left. Caused that ball to veer. 8-13 remaining. 15-8. That's a lot. Jackson wraps around Miller. Double pump, got it away. Miller's a point guard, but not a small one. 6'2", 200 pounds, he got it inside. Andre Miller trying to take over and take charge. The weak side cut, look at the pass by Jackson. Again, 6'2", 200 pounds, he's physical enough. The ball fake and the kiss off the glass. Miller with eight points. The academic All-Stars recognize one player on each team for academic excellence. For today's game, the All-Stars are Drew Hansen from Utah and Bennett Davidson for Arizona. Drew is a senior majoring in political science. He's got a 3.9 grade point average. And Bennett is a senior majoring in family studies. 17-8, though. A huge surprise in the first half. Utah leading Arizona with 7.57 to go. Mike Bibby now back in the lineup for Lute Olsen's ball club. Going to have to try to get his game going. Look at that 10-0 run last 4.30. They have stayed in the triangle in two. It has worked. It has become successful. Arizona only three of 16 from the field. Arizona came into this game. Winners of 23 of their last 24 games after starting the season. Seven and three. Again, this is a team that only scored in the 70s four times, let alone being in the 60s or anything below that. Right now, Arizona three of 16 from the floor. Inside, Harris picks it up. 18 on the shot clock. Arizona rattled. They're in a hurry, and the passes are not very good. Jump hook, baseline, short. Miller with the rebound. Andre Miller 
Fakes it himself. Down the lane. Kicks it out. And Jensen comes up short. Mike Bibby back into the game. Crossover dribble. Off the dribble. Down it. Oh, the what a terrific one. What a terrific crossover dribble. That time he didn't worry so much about getting body contact. He's been jumping into guys. That time he put the crossover to fade away his first two of the ball game. One of three shooting. 17-10. Caton stolen away by Terry. He's got Bibby with the great pass and the easy layup. 22nd timeout by Rick Majerus. He understands when he needs them. Great defensive play by Terry. Gives up the basketball. Bibby hits the last two. Terry, the best defender on this squad. Very active hands. Not many people steal balls with the quickness of their hands. Now watch. Out on the floor, the good pass, and Bibby hits two in a row, the All-American. Boy, Caton has to be careful with the ball. Rick Majerus talked about it before the game. We can't have turnovers. Silly passes. We have to be aggressive and hold on to the ball. This is what Arizona wants to do. They can come back in a hurry. And the turnovers, 4-3, Arizona with four, Utah with three. And look at the intensity on the face of Miles Simon. Rather, Mike Bibby. Lou Olson talks about Mike Bibby and Miles Simon. He doesn't worry about calling timeouts too many times because these two great leaders can run the show, get them into things. Here's a two-on-one. Miller, bounce pass, Jackson, easy hoop. Utah simply threw over the top of the defense. 19-12, Bibby, short, Miller, another long rebound. Down the lane, jumps it down, jumps it, lays it in. Utah was slow early, Gus, but they've turned it around. Now they've tried to go into spurts, and Miller, when he has the ball on the break, it's a green light for everybody. 21-12, Utah. 6-17 to go, Terry. Inside, Bramlett lost it, stole it away. Andre Miller with the hand on it. When they pop out of the triangle in two, Doliak has to take Terry. They want to get it inside because Miller's guarding Bramlett. Once Bramlett put it on the floor, Miller knocks it away. Miller posts it up Terry. Left-handed shot won't go. Here's Bibby. Four on two. Terry. Back to Davidson on the easy flop. They get out and they run. Davison on one end, he finishes on the other. Bennett Davison, what a great finisher. He's got a 35-inch vertical leap. Senior. 21 to 14. Terrific ball game against Maryland. Had 16 points and seven rebounds. And a whistle. <laughs> Take a look at the pressure. You have four Arizona players up front defending. Utah simply threw it over the top. Two on one break. Great assist by Miller. 5.21 to go. Utah leading it 21-14. CBS Sports Line is the best place to follow all the March Mayhem. You'll get real-time scores, game previews, and analysis, exclusive columns, plus interviews and more. Go to keyword. CBS Sports Line on America Online. Armacatea, what do you have? You know, Gus, one of the things Coach Olson told me is he rarely makes changes in on the on the huddles because uh, both Bibby and Simon are so self-correcting on the court. He says the only thing he often asks players is during times of toughness like this in the huddle, are you going to fold? I'm sure that question came up right now. 3:21 to go in the first half. We will see. Odds are Arizona. They will not fall, defending their national championship. 26-16, Bibby. Tipped up and a foul. A simple ball screen for Mike Bibby, though. Freed him up that time, Gus, to be able to get inside the lane. That draws a defense. Now watch how the offensive glass becomes open. Utah is looking at Bibby. And all of a sudden, the Wildcats can go to the offensive glass. And Alex Jensen called for his first foul. Sends Bennett Davison to the line. Davison, 16 points, 7 rebounds. He's a guy that loves to get out on the break and finish strong. Yeah, high riser, 35-inch vertical jump. That means 
At 6'8", if you have a 35-inch vertical, you can probably touch the top of the backboard. Uh, I would think so. Yeah. so. We saw a couple plays <laughs> on Thursday night. He was up in that vicinity. Jack Ward rattles out. Harris with the rebound. The Davis man, and he throws it out of bounds. Surprising that Arizona looks like they're in a hurry. They've struggled shooting, so they're trying to do things so fast. Just have to settle down, play a little more force. And the full court pressure not a factor right now for Utah. They almost turned it over. Crowd wanted it over and back. Miller backs it up. Doliak all alone. Doliak having his way with Davison in the post. He's too big and too strong for Bennett to contain. 28-17. Carey from Dalton. Doliak with the rebound. 2.31 to go, a turnover. Bibby to the basket. And a great defensive play by Michael Dolia. Miller. 2.17 to go, 28-17. Jackson. Mekala gathered himself. Ripped off to Jason Terry. Hey, starting to quicken here in the first half. They need to give Simon an all the, on the ball screen also. Terry again. And the shot was contested by Goliath. And when you're 6'11", and you get those hands out there. Yeah, Terry's only 6'2". The thing about this triangle and two, Terry and Dickerson are the guys who may be open. But if they're not, they, they act like they're forcing shots because they feel they ought to be open on the first pass. If Goliath comes out, Terry ought to break him down off the dribble. That's a look shot. Michael Doliak has been getting great low post position, and if the offense is patient enough, he'll get himself open on the block. Doliak with seven points now coming up at halftime. Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, and Dean Smith will get you updated on the latest tournament news. We'll have a preview of the East Regional Final between UConn and North Carolina. 131 remaining in the first half. Utah has surprised everybody in the building. They lead 28-17. Dickerson across the lane. And the baby jump a fall. That's the moves he can hit. Dickerson leads his team in scoring. He's explosive. Once a big man went out to contain him, he just put it on the floor to the basket. His first two of the afternoon. Arizona fans rising to their feet. 28-19. Britton Johnson. Backs it out. And take a look how open that lane is to pass and cut. Under a minute to go. Miller. Ooh, shake and bake to the bucket. And Davidson with the ball. Bibby got it back. And body flying all over the place inside. A whistle and foul against Arizona. Physical down low. Bibby missed an open one. Two of eight on the night. Take a look at the movement down low. Johnson trying to block out. Davison simply just wrestled him to the floor. Rick Majerus looking for his first Final Four appearance. What a job he's done at Utah. Outstanding. Had some great ball clubs last year. They lost to Kentucky. And Rick Johnson got the first free throw to go. 6'9", freshman, McDonald's All-American. Older brother Jeff played for the youth last year. He is now on a Mormon mission. You know, Johnson, a young man, the fact has had tendonitis in his knee, missed the first eight ball games, missed all the preseason, but is now starting to warm up. Had eight points against Arkansas in that big win, had seven against West Virginia Thursday night in 23 minutes of play. 30 seconds ago, Utah leading it. 29 to 19, 19 first half points for Arizona. And as Bibby holds it, that time Majerus is going to try to get the ball out of his hands. They'll double him to make him pass the ball so Mike Bibby can't go one on one. Here they come again. He's calling for the double team. Trying to take the ball out of Mike Bibby's hands. Rick Majerus calls Bibby the best point guard in the country. And then Rick will say, I have the second best point guard in Andre Miller. 29 19. Dickerson gives it up. Davison to the basket. 
cannot finish, but he heads to the line. With 9.2 remaining in the first half, 29 to 19, Utah leads Arizona. Well, the surprise part is Arizona has shot 27% from the field. They have only had two games all year below 40%. The worst is 38.9, again, the loss to Florida State. Davison bleeding and sits down. Miles Simon, they can make a substitution, and Simon will come in and shoot the free throw. Simon, about a 79% free throw shooter. As long as a player's hurt, Rude Olson has a chance to take a player and put someone in his place, and Miles Simon is that man. So Miles Simon at the line with only one point in the first half at a Slow start in the first half against Maryland, but came back in the second half, finished with 18. Came back when they needed the points. When it got to be a one-point ball game, Simon simply took over. A couple three-pointers, a couple floating mid-range jump shots. And the first free throw is good. Maybe the most confident of all players in college basketball, Miles Simon. For Simon, though, Gus, right here, he has two fouls. Don't pick up your third in the last nine seconds of this first half. Second one short, Goliak comes up with the rebound. Michael Goliak, six rebounds in the first half. Miller, four to go. Inside, the runner, and that's it. But the Utah Utes are sitting in the position they want to be in. Great defensive first half by Rick Majerus. They have Arizona guessing at what they're going to do when they come out for the second half. Arizona's first half season low in scoring 30 points. They head into the locker room with only 20. Here's Arma Katayan. Rick, you can't ask for much better than this on both ends of the floor. Well, our kids are playing their heart out. We're taking good care of the ball. We got great select shot selection. That's only half a game, though. That's 20 minutes. There's 20 minutes more to play, and we've got to maintain our intensity and take better care of the ball. Thanks, Rick. Back to you, Gus. All right, Armin. That's the end of the first half with the score, 29-20, Utah leading Arizona. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. <laughs> 